troubling threats online have the Fulton County Sheriff's Office and the FBI on alert tonight. Investigators say people are targeting the Fulton County DA, the sheriff, and their families. But that's not all. They're also going after members of the Fulton County Grand Jury. Fox Eyes Tyler Fingert has been on top of this story. He's live outside the Fulton County Courthouse tonight. And Tyler, some disturbing stuff that's being said out there. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon or good evening to you. Those grand jurors showed up here to the Fulton County Courthouse on Monday to do their civic duty. But tonight they're the target of threats, along with several elected officials and their families. Law enforcement in Fulton County are on high alert just days after former President Donald Trump and 18 of his allies were named in a sprawling indictment related to the Georgia election probe. The Fulton County Sheriff's Office says threats have been posted online directed toward the grand jury responsible for the indictment. The insinuation is these people did something wrong and did something against our democracy that they can't be trusted and they need to be dealt with in some way. Advanced Democracy, a nonpartisan research organization, first spotted the troubling posts on a fringe website. Daniel Jones, the group's founder, says photos believed to be of the grand jurors along with their possible addresses and phone numbers were posted. This is really important though that, that law enforcement take it seriously uh, and that they begin to make sure that they can counter some of these threats. The concerning post directed toward grand jurors comes as the FBI is now looking into threats against Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, Sheriff Pat Labatt and their families. Since Monday's unprecedented racketeering indictment, threats have intensified. We have to take every threat ser seriously and so authorities are going to end up expending a lot of effort. David Schweidel is an Emory University professor and deals a lot with social media. He says law enforcement will have a tall task to identify those making the threats and to figure out if they're credible. A cybersecurity professor agrees. The more underground, if you will, that people are going posting these comments, the harder it is going to be for authorities to be able to monitor, uh, to monitor the online traffic. The people making the threats are hiding their identity identities and their names. It's going to be really difficult for law enforcement to be able to find out who it is that's actually making the threats. The Fulton County Sheriff's Office along with the FBI are investigating the threats and say they will take action when necessary. Both Labatt and Willis have security details assigned to them. We're live downtown tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Yeah, what a sad state of affairs. Uh, Tyler, thanks so much.